Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVT tutorials. In this session, I am going to continue the solution for model question paper 1, which has been affected from uh, 2022 for the first semester BE degree examination. The subject name is Mathematics for Computer Science Stream 1 with the subject code BMAT S101. As I have discussed earlier, the solutions of uh, module 1, module 2. Now, in this uh, session, I am going to discuss uh, the solution for module 3. So, the module 3 is of uh, question number 5 and 6. Going on to the solutions. So, module 3, I have taken question number 5a. Solve mainly all problems will be given in terms of solve itself. So, solve x into dy by dx plus y equal to x cube into y, y power 6. So, you require to analyze here which type of problems here. So, you have methods of uh, solving a differential equation. You need to recognize uh, the problem of the form. So, it is an uh, linear differential equation. So, I am going to divide the term by x into y power 6. So, I am going to get so, after dividing uh, x into y power 6 uh, for the given equation, I am going to get 1 over y power 6 into dy by dx plus 1 by x into y power 4 which is equal to x square. So, I am going with the substitution put uh, t equal to uh, 1 over y power 5. So, if I go with the substitution, I am going to get minus 5 by, since derivative of 1 over 5, 1 over y power 5 is 5 minus 5 by y power 6 into dy by dx which is equal to dt by dx. So, we have extra term as minus 5. So, divide by minus 5 on both the side. I am going to get 1 over y power 6 into dy by dx as minus 1 over 5 into dt by dx. So, go with the substitution of this in the above expression. I am going to get minus 1 by 5 into dt by dx plus t by x which is equal to x square. So, multiply throughout by minus 5. I am going to get dt by dx plus of minus 5t by x which is equal to minus 5x square. So, then I, we can say that this equation is a linear differential equation of the form dt by dx plus pt equal to q where p is what just compare the p here. Here coefficient of t is now the differential equation is uh, in terms of dt by dx. So, therefore, uh, the coefficient of t is minus uh, 5 by x that is what uh, p and uh, the q term is minus 5 minus 5 x square. So, write note downing the value of uh, p and q. Then we are going to find out integrating factor. Integrating factor is given by e power integral of p dx. So, integrating p value we are going to get integral of 1, 1 by x is log x which is multiplied by minus 5. So, which is nothing but as we have apply the loss of logarithm here which can be written as log x whole power minus 5. Applying a loss of logarithm here we can write this as e power log of x power minus 5. Here base e is there. So, applying lo loss of exponential loss of indices we are going to get x power is nothing but 1 over x power 5. So, that is what the integrating factor we got. Then the solution of the given differential equation of this form can be written as t into integrating factor which is equal to integral of q into integrating factor with respect to x plus c. So, t into integrating factor is 1 by x power 5 which is equal to integral of minus 5 into x square which is multiplied by integrating factor as 1 over x power 5 dx. So, so here can, by cancellation law here x power 2 into x power 5 uh, x square x square get cancelled you are left out with uh, x cube here. So, 1 over x cube multiplied by negative sign. So, integrating uh, 1 over x cube integral of you should know what is integral of 1 over x power n dx is nothing but integral of 1 over x power n dx is nothing but x power minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 1. So, having this value integral of 1 over x cube is nothing but we are going to get x square by minus 2. So, therefore, minus minus get cancelled. The final answer is 5 by 2 x square plus c. 
is the required solution for the given differential equation. Moving on to question number 5b, find the orthogonal trajectories, find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda equal to 1. Consider the given problem as it is x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda equal to 1. Name that as equation 1. Then differentiate this equation 1 with respect to x. So derivative of x square is 2x plus derivative of y square is 2y into dy by dx that is y dash or y1. dy by dx is nothing but which is equal to y1. We are representing dy by dx as y1. So, which is equal to 0, differentiation of 1 is 0. So, therefore, divide on both the side by 2. So, we are going to get x by a square, which is equal to, I am shifting this uh, derivative to the right hand side, which will be equal to minus y, y1 divided by b square plus lambda. Name that as equation 2. So, from equation 1, we can write y square by b square plus lambda as Either we can shift this term to right hand side or else we can shift the another terms to right hand side. I am shifting this term to right hand side here. So you are left out with x square by a square minus 1 which is equal to y square by minus y square by b square plus lambda. So taking LCM in the left hand side, I am going to get x square minus y a square by a square which is equal to minus y square by b square plus lambda name that as equation 3. Now dividing equation 2 and equation 3 we are going to get as here in the right hand side of both the equation we have a common term called y by b square plus lambda it can be cancelled so you are left out with here by a square a square get cancelled a square a square get cancelled you are left out with x by a x square minus a square minus minus get cancelled so therefore, we are left out with y1 by y, y1 by y. This is what the left out term. Now, replacing dy by dx by minus dx by dy. This is what the uh, method of uh, solving the orthogonal trajectory. You are required to replace dy by dx by minus dx by dy. Once you got the standard form of uh, uh, y dash, we can replace y dash by minus 1 over y dash. So, which is nothing but x by a square, x square minus a square which is equal to 1 over y into minus dx by dy. Now, separate the variables. After separating the variables, differentiate with respect to that variable. We are going to get integral of y dy which is equal to minus x, integral of x into dx plus a square integral of dx by x plus c integral constant. So, therefore, integral of uh, y is you know, known for us that is y square by 2 here integral of x is x square by 2 integral of 1 over x is log x then we have a common term called uh, in the denominator 2 multiply throughout by 2 we are going to get the required result as x square plus y square minus 2a square log x minus b which is nothing but minus b is nothing but 2c that is constant which is equal to 0 is the required orthogonal trajectory for the given problem. Moving on to question number 5c, which is a problem on solvable for p. So, solve xy p square minus x square plus y square on p plus xy equal to 0. So, solve for p, we are going to get p equal to, I am going to apply a standard quadratic equation, solve, solve for quadratic equation as we know that ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. When this is a quadratic equation, then solve for x is nothing but what? Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Using this uh, formula here, we are going to get p equal to here the v, b value is this and a value is this and c value is this. Therefore, b is negative here. Therefore, negative into negative becomes positive times of x square plus y square plus or minus square root of x square plus y square the whole square minus 4 x square y square divided by 2 x y. Simplifying further, I am going to get x square plus y square plus or minus x square minus y square divided by 2 x y. Now, splitting these two terms, we are going to get 1 
uh, first I am going to take with positive sign then I am going to take with negative sign the, when I take positive uh, sign you hear y square y square get cancelled when I take negative term here I am going to get x square x square get cancelled so that is what I have taken p will be equal to when I left out with uh, uh, x square term x square plus x square becomes 2 times of x square divided by 2 x y so it will be x by y when I take negative term we will be left out with y square 2 y square divided by 2 x y so 2 y get cancelled we are left out with y by x when it is negative so now separating the variables we are going to get dy by dx equal to x by y now so uh, after separating the variables we are going to get the result as x square minus uh, y square which is equal to 2k which is nothing but c so this is what after integration so similarly for another equation we are going to get dy by dx equal to y by x which is implies that after separable uh, variable separable and integrating that i am going to get log of y by x equal to log c then by cancellation of uh, logarithm we are going to get y minus x c which is equal to 0 thus the general solution is product of these two product of these two will be the general solution so multiplying those two terms i am going to get the general solution for the required d moving on to question number uh, 6a which is of uh, choice question solve the given differential equation x square plus y square plus x on dx plus of xy dy equal to 0 so it is of the form m dx plus n dy so therefore uh, we can recognize what is m what is n so after recognizing m and n differentiate m with partially with respect to y and n partially with respect to x so we are going to get partial derivative of m with respect to y as 2y and partial derivative of n with respect to x as y so as it is del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x so therefore we say that it which is not exact so for that reason we are going to take uh, the difference of those two partial derivatives del m by del y minus del n by del x which is nothing but 2y minus y which is equal to y we got so this y value is nearest to n so as the difference is nearest to n we are going to divide this difference by n so we are going to get now 1 over n into uh, del m by del y minus del n by del x which is equal to 1 over x so which is nothing but as it is a function of x i am going to denote that as f of x so we got 1 by x means so the one uh, n values 1 over n values x y divided by x y here x y into difference is y so here y y get cancelled which is nothing but 1 by x now we are going to find out uh, the integrating factor hence the integrating factor is e power integral of f of x dx which is equal to e power integral of 1 over x dx 1 over x integration is log x as the base here e and uh, here the log function is natural log therefore applying uh, uh, loss of indices we are going to get the value as x here multiplying this integrating factor to the given differential equation we are going to get m value as x cube plus x x y square plus x square and n value as x square y now differentiating m partially with respect to y and n partially with respect to x we are going to get these two are equal therefore we can have the solution in terms of exact which is integral of m dx plus integral of n of y dy which is equal to c thus integrating m partially with uh, integrating m with respect to x integral of x cube is x power 4 by 4 uh, plus y square into integral of x is x square by 2 plus integral of x square is x cube by 3 and terms containing y alone n of y means terms containing y alone here there is a term called x here there is no terms called y alone that's why it is 0 integral of 0 with respect to y is y into 0 therefore it is 0 so you are left out with the answer as x power 4 by 4 plus x square by x square y square by 2 plus x cube by 3 equal to c is the required solution for the given d now moving on to question number uh, 6b the question is as follows 
when a switch is closed when a switch is closed in a circuit containing a battery e a resistance r and an inductance l the current i build up at a rate given by the differential equation l into di by dt plus r i equal to e find i as a function of t how long will it be before the current has reached one of its final value if e equal to 6 volts r equal to 100 ohms and l equal to 0.1 henry in this problem uh, finally we require to find out uh, the value of uh, t by substituting uh, e equal to 6 volts r equal to 100 ohms and uh, l equal to 0.1 henry so let us see the solution now so consider the differential equation l into di by dt plus r i equal to e so then divide by you are going to divide by l you are going to divide by l so after dividing by l we are going to get di by dt plus r i by l which is equal to e by l this differential equation is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q now comparing uh, these two equation we are going to get uh, p is nothing but r by l and uh, q is nothing but e by l now finding out uh, the we know that uh, the solution of uh, this differential equation is given by y into integrating factor which is equal to integral of q into integrating factor with respect to x plus c so for that reason we are going to find out uh, the integrating factor integrating factor is e power integral of p dx so we know that uh, what is p so after uh, substituting that p integrate that with respect to uh, t here since it uh, here we are going to integrate this with respect to t e power integral of r by l dt which is equal to e power r t by l so therefore the solution is given by instead of y we require to write down i here i into integrating factor which is equal to integral of u into integrating factor with respect to t plus c so we are going to get i into e power r t by l which is equal to integral of e power e by l into e power r t by l dt plus c now integrating the right hand side term as we have here e power r t by l with respect to t we if we integrate we we know that integral of e power ax with respect to x is given by e power ax divided by a divided by a so applying this definition for this integral we are going to get e by l into e power rt by l divided by r r by l here e by l is a constant term that's why we are taken outside and integrate just e power rt by l plus e. so simplifying this l l get cancel you are left out with e by r e power rt by l plus c after observing this equation we can divide throughout by e power rt by l so after dividing throughout by e power rt by l i have i will be left out with i equal to e by r plus c into e power minus rt by l name that as equation star now they have provided initially there is no current in the circuit so put i equal to 0 so when i put i equal to 0 this constant c will be get eliminated so we are going to get this value of c as e minus e by r substitute this c value in the equation star we are going to get i equal to e by r just i am taking out uh, e by r since c value and uh, this value is common for us so we we can take out that outside and we are going to get e by r times of 1 minus e power minus rt by l name that as equation 1 so which shows that uh, i increases with the time t and attains the maximum value e by r so now if we go with the substitution e equal to 6 volts r equal to 100 ohms and l equal to 0.1 henry if we, uh, and i equal to e by r so uh, substituting uh, e, e e value and r value we are going to get uh, 3 by 50 substituting all these values in equation 1 we are going to get uh, the value of uh, t as log 1 by 2 divided by minus uh, 1000 times so after simplifying we are going to get this as 0.0007 seconds so this is what the simplification i have done just i have substituted uh, the value of i and e by r value times of 1 minus e power minus rt by l value then we are going to get here the simplification of this is uh, 3 by 1000 uh, 3 by 100 minus uh, 3 by 50 just i have shifted this term to left hand side that becomes minus 
So simplifying that we are left out with 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 minus e power minus 1000 t and uh, again simplifying uh, one, 1 by 2 minus uh, 1 or shifting this term to right and uh, left hand side and uh, shifting this term to right hand side we are going to get e power minus uh, 1000 t is equal to 1 by 2. So then applying uh, our loss of indices we are going to get t value as 0 0.007 seconds. So this is what the solution for uh, the given problem. So which is an important problem in under RL circuit. Question number 6c find the general solution of the equation px minus y into py plus x equal to a square p by reducing into Clairaut's equation by taking the substitution as x equal to x square y equal to y square. So by considering the given substitution x equal to x square find out dx by dx which is equal to 2x and y equal to y square that uh, derivative will be dy by dy will be equal to 2y. So then we are going to find out p small p is nothing but uh, dy by dx which is equal to dy by capital dy into capital uh, d into capital pi by dx which is multiplied by dx by x dx by dx which is equal to 1 over 2y into capital P capital P where capital P is nothing but d y capital y divided by d capital x into 2x here 2 2 get cancelled you are left out with x by y into capital P. So therefore uh, in terms of capital x and capital y we know that a given small x can be written as root of capital x and small y can be written as root of capital y. So simplifying that small p will be equal to square root of x by y capital p. Substituting this value in the given expression we are going to get we are going to get this expression. So simplifying further I am going to get this expression then I am going to make this problem in standard form y equal to px plus f of p. This is what uh, the standard form. Then replace p by c, we are going to get the required result that will be the Clairaut's d. So, this is what the Clairaut's uh, d. Now, the general solution for this is y equal to cx minus 2 c by c plus 1. As we know that capital Y is nothing but uh, small y square and capital X is nothing but x square. Replacing that value it will be y square equal to c x square minus 2 c by c plus is the required solution. So this is the way to solve uh, the Clairaut's uh, D and this is what I have explained for uh, module 3 and if you have any doubts in this module you can put a comment. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all for watching this video.